Juventus when things get real in the Europa League. It is time for the final, and there can be only one winner. Who's it going to be? And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Stuart Robson. It's Manchester United and they take on Fenerbahce. Well, Derek, this should be a top-class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And here's the Fenerbahce lineup. Well, although it's down as a 4 5 1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. And tidy defensive play. Can he put them in front? Great defending here. Timely intervention. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's a fantastic striker of the ball. He can generate so much pace, and when he strikes it cleanly, the ball starts to dip and swerve on its way to the goalkeeper, which is why he needs to be closed down quickly today. Bruno Fernandes has it. Just the challenge that was required. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball and possession given away. Dusan Tadic. And he stopped them in their tracks. Diogo Dallo. And it's with Amrabat. Bruno Fernandes has it. Anthony. Moving the ball more than decently, but can they take the lead? Fernandes. He could pick out a teammate. Sebastian Szymanski. Space afforded him. And he cuts inside. Superbly read and executed. Rasmus Heulun. Good looking sequence. Options in the middle. And still looking to get the shot away. Hoylund. An alert piece of defending. Fred. And it's with Osai Samuel. Bright Osai Samuel. Now Jekko. Oh, managing to beat him. Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflex from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. Playing it in. Sebastian Szymanski.
And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Turin. Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. And danger averted. Well read. High pressing at its best. Here's Juan Bisaka. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play. So a throw in to come. Bruno Fernandes has it. And it's with Amrabat. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes has it. Anthony. And Fenerbahce with the ball again. Genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Diogo Dallo. Now we have 30 minutes to go. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Time for a change then. Ferdi Kadioglu. Rade Krunic. Kadioglu, Tadic has it, moving the ball forward with purpose. Rade Krunic, keeping possession of the ball with authority. But just like that, possession changes hands. 20 minutes remaining. Sufyan Amrabat. Diogo Dallo. Strong but fair tackle. Tadic. Given away by Manchester United. Jiku. Now Dzeko. Well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Will he play it in? That's effective pressure high up the pitch. Here's Juan Bisaka. Lisandro Martinez. Got McTominay on to Juan Bissaka. It's with Martinez. Sofian Amrabat. Really good challenge. Level pegging, but can they change that? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Mount. Bruno Fernandes has it. Mount. He has time to play it over. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. 
Substitution time it is here. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come.